Hello guys, in this video we will be taking a look at a wireless display adapter. Um, I don't know the brand name, but on a tank over here it says Cockwell. And uh, yeah, basically I was sent this to try it out, make a review about it. So here we are. And as you can see, I will leave the link in the description below for you guys to check it out. Um, it is made in China, even though over here it says made in Chin. They need to fix that, but here, let's unbox it real quick. This is the first time of me opening it, so I don't know what to expect. HDMI. Oh, they're HDMI to HDMI. That's nice. Yeah, take care of that later. Then we got some RCA connections over here. They got micro USB. Would be nicer if we saw USB C. And this is the adapter itself. It says that it has some 5 gigahertz connectivity. Oops. connections are marked we got the hdmi micro usb and the av over here fairly small and i'm not sure if this detaches or not oh it does or actually it doesn't but yeah that was cheap um <laughs> but we can place it back inside so we'll see so i got the antenna back in and i noticed that this is actually a button. Not sure why this detaches and attaches. Maybe to, you know, uh, position the antenna in the way you want. But it does detaches and attaches real quick. So I'm going to check the user manual real quick. See how to correctly set this up. Uh, it's fairly easy by the looks of it. And then we are going to connect it to a mobile phone and a computer and we'll see if it works with a tv so stay tuned okay guys now i'm going to quickly show you how to set up the device fairly easy you grab your hdmi cable you plug it into the device as you can see over there and then you plug it into your computer in this case plug it into hdmi 3 usb for power preferably um connect it uh, plug it to a direct outlet um because sometimes the usb connection is not a bite is not enough um so and then you go to your computer oh sorry tv remote hit the input button and remember in this case we got hdmi 3 so make sure that's selected and uh we are going to connect it to an iphone first so make sure you guys in are in ios mode okay if you're gonna connect it to Windows or Android, you press this button and it will switch to Android mode or Windows mode. And you have like all the information that you need. It shows you step by step, okay? So now we're gonna leave it into iOS mode and uh, basically connect our, um, wirelessly connect our iPhone via screen mirror in so yeah so right now we are going to connect our iphone as you can see that was pretty fast that's our device and as you can see it is already connected it's not a lot of lag sorry for the quality i'm using like a really old phone and as you can see if you go to youtube That's pretty fast. See how when I pause and play, I don't think they know they will. it's really instant. Um, let's see. 
Good job, video. Let's just skip that. Select. Right picture. So as you can see, we got like black bars over here and here. What you can do is just like zoom it. Now we're good. Okay. And it is a really fast. Look how, like when I scroll. See, that's pretty fast. So pretty impressed with this device. It's actually really fast. So yeah, I would recommend it to be honest. So pretty cool. As you can see, scrolling through the comments, see, pretty fast. So since we are going to try Windows right now, we need to press the button on the device to switch it to Android mode. So go here, you press it, and it should change to Android mode, as you can see. So we are gonna go to our windows and set it up. Okay, so now we are going to project this screen to our device. And as you can see, rank chip is detected. Um, what you gotta do is you got to activate your Wi-Fi, turn it on and Bluetooth, I think. You go to project and say duplicate. And then connect to wireless and that's going to search connecting to your device i think it's going to ask for a password but we'll see and it is connected interesting we got this control bar over here Okay, so it says it's connected, so let's go check it out. And as you can see, our screen is duplicated. However, there is some um, misalignment going on for some reason. Uh, let's just go to my computer and try to fix that. So I figured out the misalignment issue. It was due to the settings in my computer, in my TV, sorry. So basically you go to settings, you go to picture, and then the aspect ratio, I set it to 16 by nine. Just put, just scan, that works for me. And as you can see, four by three doesn't work. Zoom doesn't work. So set it to just scan. It depends on your uh, TV, but yeah, if you have any misalignment issues, it's going to be because of the settings of your TV. So just uh, get that sorted out. So the only issue I ran into is trying to connect it to an Android device. So as you can see, I got my Android over here. And then if I go to screencast, I'm on Android mode, as you can see. And it just keeps on searching for it, unfortunately. Um, this is a Motorola uh, G7 Power, I think. And it just keeps on searching. I know my Wi Fi is on. I got airplane mode. Maybe that's the reason. So let me just put in the SIM card and maybe that will change it. But I highly doubt it, but I'll see. So I got the SIM card in and I connected the Wi Fi to the, uh, what is it called? rank chip so i did connect my wi-fi to it and it just keeps on searching it just can't detect it unfortunately still on android mode the iphone mirroring worked great the windows one works great it's just that the android phone doesn't didn't work maybe it's my device because it's a motorola maybe if you try a samsung huawei xiaomi it will work but 
it just didn't work for me, unfortunately. I'm just being honest over here, guys. Um, so, yeah, but, you know, the device actually works, and I was impressed how fast it is. So, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check it out. So, yeah. So, honestly, uh, pretty impressed with this device. It is fast. It does what it says. Um, there's no lag, no latency. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below to check it out. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. It doesn't get hot. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment below, and I'll do my best to reply. So, see you in the next one.